Hey guys, this is Taylor with the Prosperity Agency, and I am coming to you today on this beautiful sunshiny day, and I uh, wanted to share a little bit of information with you guys about what I did today um, and really how I structure my day. So a lot of you maybe not know this, but I am in sales and I do B2B sales. Really what drives my business, of course, is new business, right? Like any business, uh, any sales position, you're always looking to get the next sale, right? Get the new sale. So what I wanted to share with you guys today is, again, I want to share with you my schedule because I think that that's really important for people to, you know, take a look at what other people that are successful are doing. What I like to do with my day is the night before I, of course, have a schedule of what I'm going to do with the meetings that I need to be at. And outside of those meetings of different things that I need to be, you know, different places, I like to make sure that I have my list of things that I absolutely have to get done. So I've got my list of priorities, and I really prioritize them by A, B, and C groups. A, of course, means it absolutely needs to get done today. Uh, maybe there's a deadline on it, whatever it might be. So A is number one priority. Uh, B is second priority. So that would be, you know, hey, you should really get this done today. And then thirdly, I do C categories, which is like, you know, hey, you should get this done today. That'd be great. And um, so anyways, with that, what I do is I block off my time. So blocking off time either for, you know, existing sales support, um, for any type of questions that current clients have, and then of course, new business outreach. And in, you know, in the world that I live in, that is often, you know, after you've been doing this for a couple years, that's oftentimes the most neglected piece of the pie. And in my opinion, that's the, the biggest biggest driver of our business in, again, in any sales arena, whether that's, you know, you're, you're selling things out of a store, you're got an eBay store going, you've got, um, you know, you're selling clothes to somebody out of a retail shop, or you're doing B2B sales, you know, similar to what I'm doing. That new business is absolutely the blood, uh, the lifeblood of your company and of your ultimate success. So again, what I'd like to do with that is I like to consistently put that on my schedule. So if that is for an afternoon, you know, once a week or once every couple weeks, um, I always try to get at least 20 new outreaches per day, regardless of if it's via phone call, via, you know, LinkedIn messaging, via email, whatever that might be. I always try to get at least two new business or excuse me, 20 new businesses, um, me being outreached to them. So again, with that, what I like to do is, um, block out the time for those important things. So again, A, B, and C, you know, priorities for the day. And then lastly, blocking out the time in those important pieces. Okay. With that, what I have really been terrible with when I first got started in this business was numbers. So I'm not talking about sales numbers or like, you know, commissions or anything like that. Obviously those are very important too, but for this main, the sake of this main part of this video, I want to talk about how to Tweak your calendar to make sure that you're making the most out of the time that you have allotted for that activity during your day. So what I mean by that is if you want to look at it from my perspective, what I like to do is, again, out of 20 calls, I made 20 phone calls today. Out of those 20 phone calls, I made three appointments with three new businesses. So what I do with that is I say, okay, three out of 20 is pretty good. Um, if your business industry is one out of 10, one out of 20, one out of 100, that's what I want you to find out. I want you to find out what your norm is, what your, you know, what you tick very well at, and then I want you to work backwards to see what you need to hit in order to hit your numbers. So a lot of people, you know, a lot of people look at, you know, what I do on a daily basis and they think that there's a lot of monotony, and I absolutely agree with that, but um what I equate that to is that consistency piece. Like anything that you want to be good at, anything that you want to be incredible at, you need to have a consistency factor. And for me, that's really the biggest thing that that people don't see is they think that um, they think that I don't do that. They think that I do boring things all day, and you know, I talk about talk about this and that and whatever. But really, what people don't see is the consistency is what has made me who I am. And to be honest with you, that's anything in life. You want to be consistent no matter what you're doing. You want to know your numbers no matter what you're doing. Um, like working out, for example. You want to know what workout you're doing, how many reps you're doing, how many you know pounds of resistance or whatever on each of those reps. You want to know your numbers. For your diet, you want to know if you're counting calories, you want to count your calories. If you're doing macros, breaking it down per those things, you want to know. If you're over-consuming, you will know. If you're under consuming, you will also know. So gaining weight, losing weight, etc. So I'm not here to talk about that stuff. I just wanted to share with you guys how that works because I think that's important for people to see. 
And um, again, like I said, know your numbers. So I want you to find out this week. I want you to do it every single day. So this week, I want you to write down all of the people that you're going to reach out to. I want you to list out the people said, the people that said no, there's going to be a lot of them because um, there always is. So the people that said no, the people that said yes to appointments, and then the people that you have to continually follow up with. So that is my number one bit of advice for you guys today. It's just like, it's crazy to me to think about how people don't um, don't know their numbers. And like I said, I used to be absolutely terrible at this, and my husband was always on it, or on me about it, like, how many calls did you make today? How many, you know, how many appointments did you get set today? And I'm like, oh, you know, I don't know, let me just count them really quick. But uh, that's not really an efficient way to, you know, a way, an efficient way to operate. So what I've done is gotten really a lot better at that. And what I'm able to do with that bit of information is tweak things so that I know how I'm getting better or getting worse. If I'm trying a new, you know, punchline or whatever, um, in my phone calls, then I know either, you know, Hey, yes, Taylor, this is working really well. Or Hey, Taylor, that's a really dumb joke and people really aren't getting it. You should switch your script and go back to the old, you know, whatever, or you know what I'm saying? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, so that you can get a little bit of a, you know, deep dive into what I do and how I do my business. Um, it's, uh, it's not hard, but it is right. So my saying is, Today is a brick, lay it wisely. So you look at a brick like this piece of red, oh, it kind of looks like my dress, like this uh, red piece of concrete or like whatever bricks are made out of and um, it's pretty ugly and pretty insignificant on its own, right? But what you do with that brick is you lay it in a precise way every single day and what ends up happening is you create yourself this beautiful structure, a building or you know whatever it is that you want to build, like a wall maybe, I don't know what you want to build, but what ends up happening is every day that you're consistent and you know what you're doing with your bricks, you will create an incredible life for yourself. And that's really what I want to share with you guys with, you know, obviously with this channel is prosperity and how do you get to, you know, live a prosperous life. And so that's the message I want to share with you guys today. Consistency is key and today is a brick, so lay it wisely. Um, once again, this is Taylor with the Prosperity Agency and I hope you have an awesome day.